guys, my name is Amaka and you're welcome to Bizama Stitches. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make a no-sew cape top. All you need for this project is just your scissors, your fabric, your measuring tape and your chalk. All you need is just four items for you to make this for you to make this top. You don't you don't need to be a tailor or a fashion designer for you to be able to make this top. And you don't need to have a sewing machine for you to be able to make this top. All you need to do is just to follow the steps and make yours. Now, this is the fabric I'll be using for this project. Now, I'll be using a scuba fabric for this project. Now, this fabric is a self-finished fabric, meaning it doesn't fray. Even when you don't sew it, it will still be okay. Now, there are other, there are other fabrics that you can also use for this project. But make sure that any fabric you're using for your no sew project, make sure that they are self-finished fabrics. Now, this jacket I'm wearing, now this jacket I'm wearing, this jacket is a no sew jacket. It's a kimono waterfall jacket. This jacket is beautiful. I don't want to show you the complete jacket, but I'm, go I'm going to make, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this jacket next week. So, you have to consider subscribing. And also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be notified. So let's get started. This fabric is folded into four. Now this is it. I folded it into two. I folded this fabric into two, just like this, into two. And I'm going to fold it again into four. So I folded my fabric into four, just like when you want to cut a circular shape. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to take my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is 15 inches. 15 divided by 2 gives you 7.5 inches. This is 7.5 inches. From this from this shoulder measurement, from this shoulder measurement I'm going to take my sleeve measurement. My sleeve measurement is 15 inches. So this is 15 inches. This is 15 inches so what I have here is so what I have here is 22.5 inches I have 22.5 inches here another way to take this measurement is by taking your measurement from your from your center back to wherever you want your sleeve to end that's another way you can take this measurement I'm going to take my neck measurement my neck width my neck width is 4 inches 4 inches and the the neck depth is 5 inches Now the front neck and the back neck is the same thing the front neckline and the back neckline is the same So I'm going to connect this point to this point with my french curve So this is my neckline. Now I'm going to come back to this point. This 22.5 inches. Now I'm going to mark 22.5 inches round to, to for me to be able to have a circular shape. Now take note, this fabric, this, this, this is how this fabric is. Now this is the folded edge of this fabric. And that's where I'm taking my measurement from. I'm going to be working with my vertical waist, waist measurement. My vertical waist measurement is 15 inches. So from here, I'm going to mark 15 inches. Fifteen inches. So 
So I'll connect it with an horizontal line. So on, on this line, I'm going to take my waist measurement on this line. My waist circumference is 32 inches. 32 divided by 4 gives you 8 inches. So I'm going to mark 8 inches here. Now this is optional. Now you can decide to add 1 inch for ease or 2 inches for ease depending on how free you want your top to be. Now this mark I'm making here, this mark I'm, I'm making here, that this is where the belt will be. I don't want my I don't want I don't want mine to be too loose, but you can just you might want yours to be free around the waist. If you want yours to be free, you can give like you can use like one inch for ease or two inches for ease, depending on how you want it. So this is optional. So I'm using my exact waist circumference for this. So this is my waist circumference. This is a quarter of my waist circumference, eight inches. My belt hole is going to be 2 inches. From this point, I'm going to mark 1 inch. And from this point, I'm going to mark 1 inch. I'm going to go down by 1 inch. Now, this is what I did. From this point, I went up by 1 inch. And from this point, I came down by 1 inch. So... Now I'm going to cut this, I'm going to cut this open because this is my belt hole. This is going to be my belt hole. But before I do that, I'm going to pin this down because I don't want it to shake. Now, because I'm not going to sew this, I pinned it down because I'm not going to sew this. So I want I want the belt hole to be very neat. So I'm going to use a sharp blade. I'm going to start by cutting it with a sharp blade before I use my scissors. Now I have an opening here, so I'm going to cut it. So this is my belt hole. Now after that, I'm going to cut the neck and I'll cut here. So when cutting, you have to cut it neatly because you're not going to sew it. Make sure your cutting is neat. So I'll cut the neck. This is it with this tutorial. I'm done with this top. Your top is ready. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to cut my belt. I'm going to cut my belt. I'm going to wear it and show you the final look of this dress. Now remember, I'm going to be making a lot of no sew projects on this channel. So you have to consider subscribing. If you've not subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please subscribe. Subscribe to support me. So now this is it. This is the top. My top is ready. Now this is where the belt will be. This is my belt hole. I'm going to wear it with my belt and show you what it looks like. Remember, I'm going to be making a lot of no sew projects on this channel. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you. Bye.